ashver.com Hello and welcome to ashver.com. You are watching an interesting video on heart palpitations, vagus nerve and stomach bloating connected. Any unexplained stomach bloating should be evaluated by a medical professional to rule out serious disease, particularly ovarian cancer. If you have seen your doctor and been sent out the door with a clean bill of health, you should be delighted. Only, you still have the problem you came in with. Your stomach bloats, and as if that weren't enough, as soon as you bloat your heart starts pounding. You sometimes feel lightheaded. What is going on? The vagus nerve is also called the wandering nerve. As you may have guessed, this is because it is long and travels throughout the body from the brain to the heart to the stomach. It sends signals from the body to the brain to alert the brain on how the body is doing. It is known as a mixed nerve, meaning the signals are going in both directions, not just one. And because the vagus nerve receives and sends signals from the brain, the heart and the stomach, an irritated vagus causes symptoms that vary widely from person to person and day to day. An irritated vagus nerve can cause a whole host of symptoms, including a feeling of an irregular heartbeat and feeling lightheaded. You suspect you have an irritated vagus nerve, but how is it happening? One of the things that can cause vagus nerve irritation is the excess gas in your stomach. As your stomach expands this sensitive nerve will come under pressure, sending haywire signals to your brain and heart. Do you notice you tend to bloat in the afternoon? Do you notice that symptoms subside when you burp? Is it worse in stressful situations? When you didn't get enough sleep? Ate a food you know you know doesn't agree with you? If so, your digestive system may be what's causing your heart to flip. Everybody is different, so you may need to try a few different strategies to find one that works for you. Always ask your doctor before taking any new supplement or making radical changes to diet and lifestyle, but once you have the go-ahead, don't be afraid to combine different treatments until you hit on a combination that gives you real relief. Ginger Capsules minus 550 mg Ginger root 3 times a day with meals appears to calm the vagus nerve. Whether it calms the nerve by calming the stomach or calms the nerve directly is a which came first, the chicken or the egg conundrum. It doesn't really matter, as long as you get relief. I suspect it, it does a bit of both. Certainly ginger is known for being a tummy soother, but it is also a powerhouse anti-inflammatory. Perhaps just what the vagus nerve or burp, reducing the swelling of the abdomen will take the pressure off the vagus nerve and allow it to calm down on its own. Over-the-counter products like Symphicone will break up gas bubbles and prompt burping them out. This is a handy short-term fix when you find yourself in a meeting or social situation. Yes, ladies, we all know how to burp quietly. Take the pressure off by shifting your position or walking around and bending if possible. Trapped gas can escape if you move around. Again, experiment. You will find the positions that work best for you. Depression and anxiety can be associated with vagus nerve irritation so relax, yes. Easier said than done, I'm well aware. Watch what you're eating, the bloating that likely caused the irritation in the first place could be caused by a food sensitivity. Removing the offender, whether it be dairy or gluten or some other substance could resolve the problem entirely. Watch how you're eating, chewing food thoroughly releases enzymes in the mouth that will travel with the food into the digestive system, assisting with food breakdown. Food arriving with insufficient enzymes will not be properly digested, resulting in bloating. Think about trying digestive enzymes. As you age, enzyme production decreases. If your enzyme levels are too low, supplementation will assist the digestive process. If that is the cause of the problem, taking an enzyme supplement will make it immediately apparent. If you get no relief from enzyme supplementation, then low enzymes are not your problem. Think about trying digestive enzymes. As you age, enzyme production decreases. If your enzyme levels are too low, 
supplementation will assist the digestive process. If that is the cause of the problem, taking an enzyme supplement will make it immediately apparent. If you get no relief from enzyme supplementation, then low enzymes are not your problem. Thank you for watching this interesting and informative video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find a lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.